touched on this problem right here. The question is asking, uh, they have given a matrix right here, and the question is asking, find the rank of A. So, to find the rank of A, what I had to do is I had to do the first soda, and the number of leading coefficient is going to give us the rank. So, let's do this one. Uh, let's say this is so. A. I'm doing the A part. So find the rank of A. I copy this matrix down. 1100, 1, 1, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 2. And we have this um, matrix. So the first thing I can do is I can eliminate this bottom part by adding with the first, first row. So let's do this one. So 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2 and I'm adding R1 plus R3 so if I do that bottom will become 0 0 0 and that's 1 2 is going to be remaining the same and the next thing I have to do is I have to so I have to bring this one into 0 so to do that I have to, I can multiply the first one by negative and uh, add it to the second equation so if I do that I will get 1 1 0 0 so I'm doing negative R1 plus R2 0 0 and this one big remains the same 0 0 1 2 and if you look at this uh, we have the second row and the third row are same therefore we can eliminate one of them because one of them are linearly dependent right so we can eliminate and bring the one of them 0 one of the row 0 so in this case uh, what, I'm, what I can do is I can multiply the second row by negative and add it to the third equation so, 0, 0, 1, 2, negative R2 plus R3, make this one equal to 0, 0, 0. Now we have brought this one into final coaster form because all the values below and above pivots is 0. Therefore, this is the final uh, final values. And the question is rank. So in this case, we have to find the number of leading coefficient. So in this case, we have one right here, uh, another one right here. So two leading one, therefore, the rank of A is equal to 2. Rank of A is equal to 2. So that's the answer for the first question. The second question is asking find the dimension and basis for null space A. Null space A. So to do this one, I have to set this one into null spaces. Basically, AX is equal to 0. So to do this one, uh, I can bring this ghost turn pattern and equalize to 0. So 1, 1, 0, 0 then 0 right here, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, the bottom part is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. So first of all, we have to recognize the three variables. So we know these two are leading coefficients, right? These two are leading coefficients. So for this is going to be, I just a different color. So this is one of my free variable. Free variable. Or oh, I can say, so, so let's call this thing as so x1 x2 x3 x4 so x2 is one of my free variable and also if you see these two are leading coefficient so we, we have x4 x4 also free variable because it doesn't have any the column doesn't have leading coefficient therefore this is also free variable so we have everything in terms of free variables the final answer should be in terms of free variable so let's do this one. So we can create the equations right now. The first one is going to be x1 plus x2 is equal to 0. So I have to write the x1 in terms of x2. Therefore, x1 is going to be equal to minus x2. And that's my one of these. And the second equation is going to be x3 plus 2 x4 is equal to 0 since x4 is the free variable x3 is not so we i have to write x3 in terms of free variable therefore it's going to be x3 is equal to minus 2 x4 now i can write the final answer i continue in the top so it's going to be okay right here so it's going to be x1 so first of all x1 is minus x2 i'm writing everything in terms of free variable minus x2 and x2 is going to be itself because it's a free variable x3 is going to be minus 2x4 because I'm writing in terms of free variable minus 2x4 and x4 is going to be itself because it's a free variable now what I have to do is I have to take uh, x2 common so if I take x2 common this is going to be minus 1 this is going to be 1 in this case 
here we don't have any x2 therefore this is going to be 0 and this is also 0 plus if I take x4 common this is going to be 0 there's no x4 here 0 0 this is minus 2 then we have 1 so these are the two vectors of null space but when we write null space we have to get rid of this x2 and x4 because x2 and x4 mean it can be any any real number and it gives them infinitely many variables so we don't want that in this so when they ask for basis basis mean the basic form of this one so I have to write one of the like uh, I have to get rid of these these things x2 and x4 so in this case uh, I can say now therefore basis basis for na is equal to na is equal to b is equal to minus one one zero zero comma zero zero minus two one and also they are asking for the dimension dimension you can um, determined by two things first you can count the number of free variables that's going to give you the dimension also if you count the vectors that's going to give you the dimension so in this case the uh, number of free variables are two and vectors are two so we can consider one of them and both of them are going to give the same thing so dimension is equal to two and then uh, we have to find so the c question is asking so this is b part here the c part is asking find the dimension and the basis for column uh, space of A. So column space, uh, column space is basically the whatever the leading one. So the column with the leading one. So in this case first column has leading one. The third column also has the leading ones. Therefore the first and third column are, is, third column are going to be in my column space. Therefore we can say basis for column A is equal to no, you have to write B mm, wait a minute okay. so columns, column A B is equal to this is a uh, first and third so first is 1 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 comma the third one is 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is the basis for column A and column space of A and uh, the dimension is going to be number of vectors so it's going to be dimension of 2 dimension is equal to 2 then the D part the D part is asking let B is equal to 1 to alpha for what values of alpha is B in C column space A the column space of A so C A so basically what we have to do is we have to create equations using this so in this case I will create 1 1 minus 1 let's say let multiply by x plus 0 1 1 multiply by y and we take this value right here so it's 1 2 alpha so equate this one into 1 2 alpha and if you solve this one like for example we can create three equations in this one so it's going to be 1 x plus 0 y equal to 1 then second one is going to be x plus y is equal to 2 the third one is going to be minus x plus y is equal to alpha so in this case we know x is equal to 1 the if x is equal to 1 y is going to be equal to 1 because 1 plus 1 it gives us 2 so if this is so we know x is equal to 1 y is also equal to 1 by solving this one and if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 this if I plug this one in here minus 1 plus 1 is going to be 0 therefore alpha is equal to 0 therefore the for what values of alpha is B in C the column space A so the answer is alpha is equal to 0 is the value so it should be 1 to 0 to be in this column space so that's how it's done and that's all about it I hope you guys like this video see you next time